brief tonight. <laughs> First of all, I want to get on the record uh, this new video surveillance system, and I want so the public knows when we came in here before the meeting, were we being audio recorded? Because it says video, but we're, did we also have audio? Were they recording what we were talking about? I want to know that. And I'm going to ask you now, Mr. Barrett, to make sure that these tapes are saved. And what was on those tapes? Because I want to copy them. And I'm going to see if you're violating the wiretap law. I'm not trying to be nitpicking. But when we come in here and I want to talk to Frank or Mark or any other person, I don't think the mayor or whoever else should have the right to listen to our private conversations. I think it's wrong. And I, I want to make sure, I want to copy those tapes. And I will be here tomorrow with the open record request. I want to copy those tapes. The audio and video. That's what I want. And also, I'd like to just ask counsel, uh, if you could even just nod your heads, if you had a chance to review the depositions from the Old River Road Bakery. I know Attorney Menska said you can't talk about it, and he's going to tell you you can't talk about it because he's involved in it. So I was just wondering, did you just have a chance to take a look at the collusion on that Old River Road Bakery with LAG towing the mayor and everybody else? So I just wondered if you had a chance to do that. And also, I'd like to thank myself for uh, assisting the police again, helping catch that kid that shot the guy in the face with a shotgun. It was only over twenty dollars. I mean, they have a different justice system than we do. They shot him in the face with a four ten shotgun. So I'd like to take this time to thank myself. And also, I would like to ask you tomorrow to pay close attention to the newspaper what's coming out of this trial over there with Leo Galazzi. Somebody told me that the so the state trooper went to the chief, or called the chief, and told him about these, this building that I've come here time and time again and told us. And the chief told him, I told him to knock that shit off. Well, let's find out what that shit is. And that's, that's, you go over there and reprimand Jerry DeSoy, our thief of police. He's the one that said, knock that shit off. Not Bob, he said, knock that shit off. And also what I'd like us to do, uh, I would like the entire council to pass a binding resolution, and I would like to, you to send a registered mail to the Auditor General's office to come in and audit this pension thing I've been talking about. I know you said you sent a letter out. You send a letter to everybody. <coughs> a letter from Comcast every week. So we sent a resolution out. Mr. Brown, letter plus finish. I know he's got some things in But what I'm saying is let's go to the Auditor General, because I went to him and Tom Layton stood there and laughed. So I don't know if the fix was in or what happened. But it's just an issue that I think we should resolve. Because I just don't think it's fair that that officer has to work 35 years or 30 years while some of these council pigs are able to use their, their part-time service towards a full-time pension. And I know the name just passed. And I was nice to him the last several years of his life. You know, he ruined my life. But it's just not fair that council people should be able to work part-time while that poor officer has to risk his life, and like you did, Bill, and Tony, that these pigs, and that's what they are, is pigs, would use that part-time service towards a full-time pension. And I think maybe you can help us by this by doing that to the Auditor General's office, and also, because I, I understand what you said, that these boards are autonomous, that you can't go to this, the pension board that, that when they meet, because you can't interfere with them. Because I think that's probably illegal to go interfere with these boards. You, you couldn't go over there and influence them anyway, like to push them to do anything or any other council person. So why don't you send a registered letter to them, on maybe get your council or your uh, attorney there to write a letter to them saying, would you give us the formula? In other words, if somebody has to be able to sit down with the formula to figure out how Lee Naney, Tom Layton, one, one was done, 42 seconds, how they, how they come up with this. So I think, I think we should do that. And also, I think you should start trying to take a look at uh, like the other thing that I'm complaining about, that towing thing. You know, to, to see it's, it's still going on, and I don't, like I said, I don't blame file zones. So I'd like an answer. Did you have a chance to review the Old River Road Bakery depositions? You know, I, I'd like if you could give me an answer on that. And what I want to try to do is get these, these issues addressed. And I think we should put this back there. And also, I keep complaining about water. We need water in here for our people to drink. And I think in, in that podium should be put up for the city officials when they're talking 
you know, they do work for us. So I'd like some answers if you possibly could, and I really appreciate that. Mr. Ryan, you expressed an interest in addressing the recording. Yes, uh, the intention of the audio and visual recording was not to pick up on any conversation in the audience. Uh, the audio has always been uh, recorded uh, for people speaking in the microphone. That hasn't changed, and it doesn't change now because of the video component. Uh, that was number one. Number two, uh, regarding your request to have the uh, state attorney general come in and audit the pension. No, no, I'm sorry. If I said attorney, I meant the auditor general. I apologize. Okay. That's what I was going to say. The auditor, state auditor general comes in every few years and audits pension plans. The most recently completed, uh, they uh, completed their most recent audit uh, back in March or April of this year. So there has been, okay. it is audited regularly, and they just completed their most recent audit. Right. I just want, and other people were allowed to go back and forth, so I asked the courtesy. What, I, what I'm trying to say is, Jim, yes, they audit, but do they know that the citizens of Wilkes-Barre have, in my opinion, been built out of all this money by these part-time things? Like, you had to work here all these years to get a full-time pension. In other words, we need to specifically show them that look at what these council people did. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they made a commitment and did it, but they are not aware of it. In other words, do they have this program? Do they know how this goes? In other words, that's what I'm trying to say is, let's give it to them to say this is what's going on. Mr. George, you wanted to uh, start it. Well, I just want to. And Mr. Brown also is going to say something on that. Well, I just want to commend you for the way you handled the situation up on Scotch Street with, with that robbery suspect. Well, as long as some of us are just born to lead. I think you handled it properly. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Brown, you wanted to talk about that. Yeah, Bob, I just want to respond partly to what you asked uh, regarding tensions and so forth. I gave you a copy of the resolution. It's not a letter, it's a resolution passed by. Um, I gave it to you about three weeks ago. Yes, I know. So that's the extent to what we as council can do. Okay? And basically, if we say we don't want to be part of the pension plan, well, three things can change when we are going to have to be part of the pension plan. So I do not take part in it. Some other people don't take part in it. Okay? But that, that may be changing. Um, but we've done as much as we can do as a council. That's not something that we have the ability to change. We can't change state law. We can't change some of the, the, the charter mandates and things. So we don't have that ability. Well, will you support putting a resolution together to, to, so I can, I mean, I'll come down and sit down with one or two of you to say, look at what happened here. I mean, we made hundreds of thousands of dollars, and he only worked, he worked 12 years part-time and eight years full-time. There's not, you can't invest your money and get that kind of a return. Where could you work eight years full-time and then retire and get health care and hundreds of thousands of dollars? It's ridiculous. There's nobody here in, a, in this audience could do it. Bob, I, I think it's very unlikely that the auditors are not aware of that. <coughs> this is not something that's unique to Wilkes-Barre. It, it's, it's a statewide uh, mandate. It's not something that we have alone here. Uh, as Mr. Brown has mentioned numerous times before, this, we are bound by state law and we cannot change state law. Yeah, because the state's are first, corrupt. They, they know that they, they audit the pension funds routinely. They know how many years everybody's worked and more capacity. But Bill, the same other the auditors that so, I mean, if you were to address that complaint, the proper forum, the proper event would be to the state. Well, I'm asking you to look at that, Bill. The auditors right. came in and audited Tony Lupus, or I'm sorry, Barney Madoff. And look what happened. What I'm saying is go directly to the to I don't think you're event. finding people here disagreeing with what you're saying in that particular right. topic, but, but again. Well, will you yeah, just pass that? Will you, send it, will you send a letter to the Mr. auditor? Brown has done something very similar to that when we did address that. Before. But I'm asking him, how about doing it this time so we could at least say, hey, we did, we did we'll do it. We'll take it under consideration. All right, now, the Thank new you. council person, uh, did you? I, okay, I just want to ask, did you just read right. the? You did ask if anybody wants to talk to you about it. All right, all right. Well, we'll go to Bakery, anybody? Going once? Thank you. Uh, twice?